Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Welcome to class four in this beginner Ashtanga series. Thanks so much for joining me and continuing to practice with me in this method of yoga. Remember, I've been practicing for more than 20 years, so it takes time, years, decades, lifetimes maybe, to really get what this method of yoga is really about. So I want you to keep practicing and have the tools to keep practicing. Today, we're gonna to explore the Marichasana family of poses, building up into a complete half primary series, which is pretty advanced. So let's get started. Come to a comfortable seated position, close your eyes. As you exhale, rest your hands down to any comfortable position. Be aware of your breath, notice your breath. Be aware of the body. Notice the body. Be aware of the quality of your mind and your emotions. And simply tuning in to the state of what is. Using those three anchors of awareness to establish Tristana, the three pronged foundations which are present in every practice of Ashtanga Yoga. Then activating the muscles of the pelvic floor, a long deep breath in. And as you exhale, open the eyes and let's come on up to Samasthitihi and get started. Let's come on up to Samasthitihi bases of the big toes together, hands by your side. Place the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth behind your two front teeth. And start that deep, resonant breath with sound so you can feel the connection of breath, body, and mind before we begin. Feel the body and the space inside the body. Shift your gaze towards the tip of the nose. And now we begin with Surya Namaskar A. A, come inhale, the first breath. Externally rotate the shoulders, raise the arms. And away, exhale, fold forward. Hands by your feet, go down. Trainee, inhale, long deep breath in. Chatwari, exhale, find your way back to your version of Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, nice, easy, upward facing. Shut, exhale, downward facing. We'll stay here for five breaths. One, equalize, inhalation and exhalation. Two, nice and easy. Three, Four, looking good. Five, switch the gaze forward. Sapta, inhale, easy, come forward between the hands. Ashto, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, activate your pelvic floor as you stand up and raise your hands. Samasthitihi, come on back. To standing again. E come inhale, deep breath in. Due exhale, fold. Trini inhale. Chatwari will find our way back in your version of Chaturanga. Pancha inhale, a big breath in. Shut exhale, downward facing. Steady breathing. One. If you want to come down on your knees for a moment, that's always welcome. But just keep that connection to the alignment of the shoulders, the pelvic floor. Two. Connecting each breath with the sensations and that inner awareness. Three. 
four, almost there. Five, Sata, inhale, come on forward. Ashto, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, all the way up. Deep breath in, Samasthidihi. Now, if you want to add in that little jump, and that's that invitation, you don't have to accept it, all right? A, come inhale, raise the hands. Dwe, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, and Chatwari, little jump, back to Chaturanga. Panja, inhale, shut, exhale, steady breathing. One, two, keep the mind nice and calm, three, and don't do anything that disturbs the balance of your mind, four, almost there. Five, switch the gaze forward, press up into the shoulders, feet together, Sapta, inhale, little jump, walk the rest of the way if you need. Ashto, exhale, hold. Nava, inhale, all the way up, deep breath in. Samasthitihi, again. E, come inhale, reach up, Dwe, exhale, Fold. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale. Jump or step back. Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale. Deep breath. Shut, exhale. Downward facing. One. Two, keep that inner fire nicely burning. Three, four, almost there. Five, switch your gaze forward, stabilize your shoulders. Sapta, inhale, little jump, walking if you need. Ashto, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, activate your pelvic floor as you rise up through the center line. Samasthitihi, last one. E, come inhale, roll the shoulders, reach up. Dwe, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, Chatwari, find your little hop and Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, deep breath, shut, exhale, back to downward facing. One, nice and steady, it's looking good, keep breathing. Two, three. Four, five, switch the gaze forward, press up into the shoulders, Sata, inhale, a little jump, Ashto, exhale, fold, Nava, inhale, activate your pelvic floor, Rise up through your center line, samasthitihi. Now, Surya Namaskar B. Bend the knees. A, come inhale, raise the arms. Dwe, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, deep breath. Chatwari, that little hop if you like, and back to Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, big breath, shut, exhale, downward facing. 
Remember, warrior one, up the inhale, right side, back heel is down, raise your arms as you breathe in, ashto, exhale, back to chaturanga, nava, inhale, big breath, dasha, exhale, and downward facing, left side, ekadisha, inhale, step it forward, raise your hands, big breath in. Dwadisha, exhale, find your plank and chaturanga. Trayogdisha, inhale, chikturdisha, exhale. Back to downward facing if you need to sink those knees down to catch your breath at any time, you're always welcome. One, two, Three, keep the pelvic floor nice and turned on. Four, stabilizing the shoulders. Five, prepare to jump. Panchadisha, inhale, jump it forward. Shodisha, exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Saptadisha, inhale. Samastitihi, and back to standing. Let's do it again. Bend the knees. Ekan, inhale. Dwe, exhale, fold straight legs, go down. Drini, inhale. Chitwari, find your way back. Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, big breath in. Shut, exhale, downward facing. Right side, Sapta, inhale, warrior one, raise the arms. Ashto, exhale, chaturanga. Nava, inhale, big breath in. Dasha, exhale, big breath out. Left side, ekadisha, inhale, raise the arms, warrior one. Dwadisha, exhale, chaturanga. Prayogdisha, inhale, chakturdisha, exhale. Steady breathing. One, two, three. Feel the body, no fight, no force, easy does it. Four. Five, switch your gaze forward, bring the feet together, prepare for the jump. Pancha disha, inhale, little jump. Shodisha, exhale, hold. Bend your knees. Sapta Inhale. Raise your hands. Samastitihi. One more. Last one. Bend the knees. Ekam. Inhale. Dwe. Exhale. Straighten the legs as you fold forward. Go down. Drini. Inhale. Chitwari. Come on back. And Chaturanga. Pancha. Inhale. Big breath. Shut, exhale, downward facing, right side, Sapta, inhale, step it forward, big breath in, Ashto, exhale, come on down, Chaturanga, Nava, inhale, Dasha, exhale, left side, Ekadisha, inhale, keep breathing in, raise the arms. Dwarisha, exhale, come on down, chaturanga. Trayogdisha, inhale, chikturdisha, exhale. Downward facing, five deep breaths. One, settle in if you want to sink your knees. Catch your breath, you're always welcome. Two, Three, deep, resonant breath. Four. Five, 
prepare to move forward, feet together, strong shoulders. Pancha Disha, inhale, little jump. Shodisha, exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Sapta Disha, inhale. Samastitihi, very good. Now we've completed the sun salutations, that familiar feeling of internal fire should be present. Let's move into the standing poses. Move your feet hips width apart. Draw the navel deeply in. Then pull the femurs, the thigh bones, back into their sockets as you fold forward. Hold on to the big toes, bending the knees if that feels better for you. Inhale, prepare. Dwe, exhale, fold. Relax your head. One. Steady breathing. Two, wrap your elbows back and release the spine. Three, it's looking really good. Just keep breathing, don't force. Four, almost there. Five, Drini, inhale, lift the head up, exhale. Pada Hastasana, place the hands underneath the feet, bending your knees if you need to, and really press into the bases of your big toes. Akam, inhale, straighten the legs as much as possible. Due, exhale, again, fold. Wrap the elbows back and watch your shoulder blades. Really feel the shoulder blades moving away from the spine. One, gazing towards the nose tip. Two, deep breaths. Remember the bandhas. Three, it's looking good. Four, almost there. Five, Drini, inhale, straighten the arms and exhale here. Remove your hands. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Samastitihi. Now we prepare for Trikonasana pose. A, come inhale. We're going to step out to the side. If you're going to use your yoga block, grab your yoga blocks and get those set up. And then getting that good distance. If you get two blocks, maybe you just want to set them both up. That could economize your use of energy, right? If you don't need the blocks, no worries. Step out to the side and spread your arms. Traditionally, we step out with the right foot, but I switched direction so you can see my better side. <laughs> then find that external rotation of the right hip joint. Do it, exhale, fold into it, taking your hand on the block or on your foot or holding on to that right big toe. Gaze at the left fingers, and we'll stay here. One, deep breathing. Two, find the good position for your neck. Three, almost there. No fight, no force. Easy does it. Strong legs. Five. Trini, inhale, come up, turn the right foot in, left foot out, spread the arms. Chitwari, exhale, fold. You can find and adjust the block position, going onto your fingertips, your hand flat, or holding onto your foot or your big toe. One, the traditional gaze is up at those right fingers, but I want you to look wherever you can find a good, comfortable position for your neck. Two, steady breathing. Three, almost there. Four, really just stabilize. Legs are super straight. Five, you can switch your gaze down and pancha inhale, come up following the movement. Pivot around. Now, take that moment where your pelvis is square over the right side. Lead with the left hand. Hmm. Due, exhale, fold. Taking the left hand on the floor on the inside, on top of the foot, on the block, or even on the floor, press it down, and then slowly twist. One. If you find the block is too much, you can pop off of it, or if you need it, you can always pop it in. Two. Keep breathing. Three. Try to stabilize pelvis. Four. Almost there. Five, switch your gaze down. Trini, inhale, come up. Spread the arms, prepare for the other side. Lead with your right arm, lengthening the right psoas. Chitwari, exhale, fold. Find the good hand position inside, on top of the foot, on the block or on the floor. And lift the left arm. 
one really press firmly down into the right hand whichever hand position you have two lining up the shoulders three four almost there five gazing down pancha inhale come up samasthiti come on back up to the front okay now we're going to step out to the side wider a come inhale big step out to the side mm -hmm. extend in side angle pose turn the right hip joint out bend the knee Dwe, exhale you can hook the forearm and extend or take your hand on the floor or on a block on the outside of your foot and we'll hold for five breaths one gazes up at the left fingers two the navel is in and really reach Three, open the chest, it's looking good. Straighten the left elbow. Four, almost there. Five, let your gaze float down. Trainee inhale, follow it up. Turn, switch the sides. Chitwari, exhale. Fold onto your forearm, extend the right arm by wrapping it around. Oh, that was really good. Then find the hand position on the block or on the floor, and we'll stay for five breaths. One. Try to open the chest. Two, open the right side of the pelvis. Three, it's looking good. Four, regulate your breath. Long, deep, steady breaths. Five, look down and then pancha, inhale, come up, pivot around. Parsvakonasana B. Ndue, exhale, bend your left knee, put it on the ground, bend the right knee. And then as you exhale, fold around. And you can take hands in prayer and stay there. Or if you like, you can extend your arms and pop that back leg up. One. Nice and easy. Two. Keep breathing, three, find the rotation, find the twist, four, almost there, five, let's pop that knee down, release the hands, train inhale, come up, pivot around, Swari exhale, we can sink that right knee down, and then as you exhale, fold across, hand on the ground or hands in prayer, and then inhale, lift that back, right knee off the ground one if your arm is extended look at the left hand if your hands are in prayer just keep the gaze at a single point that helps you balance two three four almost there five sink the knee down look down pancha inhale all the way back up spread your arms samasthiti come on back up to the front good you want to move the blocks over to the side and a come inhale we step out prasarita parottanasana our wide leg forward bend hands on your natural waist a come inhale big breath the way exhale hands down again inhale head up Train the exhale, head down. You can put the head on a block if the head is too far away from the ground. One, remember, adduct the inner thighs, so activate inner thighs. Two, keep breathing. Three, four, leaning your weight forward, activate the inner thighs. Five, chitwari, inhale, let's lift the head up and exhale, squeeze pelvic floor, keep the gaze down, pancha, inhale all the way up and exhale, good, e, come inhale, arms spread, do it, exhale, hold on to your waist, again, inhale, big breath in, three, and exhale, fold, tuck your head under, and now we fold, head can go back on the block, one, two, keep activating the inner thighs, three, activate the inner ankles as well, four, almost like you're squeezing inward towards your center line, five, shift your weight back, keep your gaze down, Tratwari, inhale all the way up and exhale, very good. C position. A, come inhale, arms spread. 
And the way exhale, we interlock the fingers, so now you're gonna roll the shoulders forward. If you have a hard time grabbing your hands, you can grab that strap and hold onto it behind, all right? And then inhale, expand your chest. Mm, train the exhale, fold, and allow that internal rotation to just naturally happen. Don't force it. One, two, wherever the shoulders want to end up, let them be there. Three, four, shoulder blades moving away from the spine. Keep the leg work steady. Four, almost there. Five, activate pelvic floor, keep the gaze down, Chutwari, inhale, come up, exhale, release the strap if you have it, hands on your waist, activate pelvic floor, A, come inhale, big breath in, lift the navel, Dway, exhale, pivot forward, dangle the hands down, hold on to big toes, again, inhale, Trini, exhale, fold, one, Nice and steady, two, keep breathing, three, four, almost there, five, shift the weight back, Chatwari, inhale, lift the head up and exhale, squeeze pelvic floor. Pancha, inhale, activate, and come all the way up. Samasthiti, come on back up to the front of your mat. Okay, hands behind the back as we prepare for the last standing pose. You can hold elbows, place the fists together, or reverse prayer. Parjvottanasana. A, come inhale, the most narrow of the standing poses. Align the heels with each other. Your left hip joint is 45 degrees turned out. Way, exhale, relax your back muscles as you fold forward and down, gazing towards your toes or at the nose. One, two, keep the pelvis square, pushing a little extra weight into your front foot. Four, keep breathing, almost there. Five, keep the gaze down, train the inhale, come up. Turn the gaze and turn the body, switch the sides. Keep the heels aligned with each other. Chitwari, exhale, fold as you go down. One, relax your back muscles, it's looking good. Two, chest to the left knee, gaze at the toes or at your nose, four, relax the back muscles, the navel is in, five, keep the gaze down, pancha, inhale, come up, spread your arms, samasthiti, back to the front. Now we've completed the standing poses, we move to the balancing poses, I'm going to shift direction a little, clean up the space. And this is another option where you can use your strap if you feel this is going to help you out. So, Uttita Hasta Padangustasana, if you're using the strap, one of the most difficult parts is actually to just get the strap in place. Lift the, and close the hip joint so you can stay there with the foot flexed. A, come inhale, or you can straighten the leg. Dway, exhale, if you're going to fold, fold. But if you're using the strap, maybe it's enough just to stay up. One. Oh, if you lose your balance, forgive yourself. Try again. Two. Three. It's okay. Just try repeatedly. Four. Five. Trini, inhale. Come up. Chitwari, exhale. Bring leg side. One. If you're using the strap, keep that foot flexed. Two. If you lose your balance, it's okay. Remember, just try again. You're doing so well. Four. Just try again. Five. Pancha, inhale. Shut, exhale. Sapta, inhale, come up. Release your strap and lift the leg. One, it can be as low as you need it to be, but keep it off the ground. Two, three, try to think about the femur moving back. Four, almost there. 
Woo, lose your balance, it's okay. Five, exhale, come on down. We switch the sides. All right, now that foot in the strap, you need a little help with that. Sometimes it helps to step on it and bend the knee. And then, ashto, inhale, come up. Straighten the leg when that's accessible. Keep foot flexed. Nava, exhale, fold if you're gonna fold. One, strong pelvic floor. Two, work your standing leg. Three, four, five, dasha, inhale, come up. A quarter shot, exhale, out to the side. One, stabilize standing leg. Two, it's looking good. Just try again, forgive yourself, all good. Four, five, quarter shot, inhale, center. Trayog shot, exhale, fold. Chick to shot, up, release strap. Hand on your waist, balance. One, your leg can be anywhere off the ground, but keep it up. Two, three, almost there, four. Almost there, don't give up. Five, exhale, come on down. All right, I can put the strap over. So now remember we've got two options, half lotus or tree pose. A, come inhale, Ardha Bedha Padmottanasana. External rotation, right leg, tree pose. Hands in prayer. So for those of you staying in tree, you can stay here with me. If you're familiar with the half lotus option and you wanna go for it, and the way I exhale, you can fold. To deepen your tree pose, press your hands into prayer position. We'll stay for five. One, looks good. So remember if you fold forward to relax your back muscles, head down. Two, activate the tree if you're remaining standing. Three, activate pelvic floor. Four, work those muscles of external rotation in your right hip joint. Five, trainee inhale, lift the head. Exhale, Chatwari, inhale, everybody come up. For those of you who folded forward, Pancha, exhale, Sama, Stitihi, back to standing. Very good. Now we go for the left side. Shut, inhale, external rotation, find your tree pose, hands in prayer. If you have your half lotus and you want to fold forward, prepare. Sapta, exhale, fold, if you're familiar with it, or to stay in tree pose and stabilize. One. Two, if you fold forward, relax your head, relax the neck, head down. Three, very good. If you're doing tree, relax the elbows. Four, the navel is in. Five, ashto, inhale, exhale. Nava, inhale, come all the way up, keeping the gaze down on the way up. And samastiti, shake it out. So one of the best ways you learn balance, unfortunately, is by falling. So those of you who are falling or, or teetering around, don't worry, it's all part of the process. I fall all the time. You just have to learn to forgive yourself and try again with full faith that you're learning the balance. Let's come on back to the front of our yoga mats. Mm -hmm. Now, hands by your side. Hey, come inhale, raise your hands, deep breath. Dwe, exhale, fold, come on down. Trini, inhale, Chitwari, find your way back, Chaturanga, Pancha, inhale, Shut, exhale. We're gonna jump forward to Utkatasana now. So bring your feet together, bend the knees, gaze between the hands, Sapta, inhale, jump. Keep the knees bent, squeeze those knees into each other. Raise your hands, Utkatasana. One, you can gaze forward, or if you're feeling it, palms press into each other, up at the thumbs. Two, three, it's looking good, sink down. Four, feel your thighs burning and enjoy it. Five, exhale, fold forward. Ashto, inhale. Nava, exhale, chaturanga. Dasha, inhale. Hey, Kadisha, exhale. Downward facing. Now, Warrior One, Virabhadrasana A. Sapta, inhale, step your right foot forward. Find that foundation. Now, let's raise the arms. Hold for five. One, two, how's it going? Work your legs. Three, feel your right thigh burning and just enjoy that burning sensation. Four, almost there, deeper, steadier breaths. 
five, inhale, Ashto pivot around, left side, get it down, one, looks good, if you need a moment to check your foundation, then extend the arms again, two, looking good, get down into the legs, remember that right leg as straight as you can, four, five, inhale, warrior two, left side, Nava, exhale, open the arms. One, gaze at the left fingers. Two, get down into the legs. Three. Keep working. Four, looking good. Little lower, little lower. Five, inhale. Dasha, exhale, right side. Work the hips, avoid hiking that left hip up and Keep it down, one, really work the arms and legs, two, we're gonna be in the seated poses real soon, so just enjoy this moment, three, keep working, four, almost there, five, exhale, hands down, ekadasha, inhale, find your plank position, dwadasha, exhale, chaturanga, Trayog disha, inhale. Chiktur disha, exhale. Now in this downward facing, we're gonna prepare to jump through to seated. Sapta, inhale. Jump or step your feet. And exhale, sink the hips down. Straighten the legs. Dandasana position. Take a moment. Get used to being on the floor. Then wiggle your sitting bones to make sure the sitting bones are in a good position. Hands next to the hips, feet flexed, chin down. One. Two, keep breathing, chest up. Three. Enjoy the moment, lift the chest. Four, almost there. Five, Pashima Tanasana, reach forward. You can take ankles or you can hold big toes. Inhale, prepare, big breath in. Nava, exhale, pivot at the hip joints to fold and deepen. One. Relax your back muscles, strong bandhas. Two. Keep breathing. Three. Looks good. Four, gaze at the nose or forward at the toes, depending on what feels better for you. Four, strong bandhas. Five, dasha, inhale. Exhale, deepen your grip. You can hold on to the tops of your feet or hold on to the outsides of your feet or even interlock fingers around your feet. Ashto again, inhale, prepare, strong bandhas. Nava, exhale, fold, one. Two, keep breathing, three, navel is in, strong pelvic floor, four, deep in your breath, five, dasha, inhale, exhale, slowly release, cross your feet underneath you, ekadasha, inhale, dwadasha, come on back, Chaturanga, Trayogdisha, inhale, Chikturdisha, exhale, come on back, <laughs> downward facing, press into your shoulders, Sapta, inhale, little jump, exhale, sit down, straighten your legs for Purvatanasana, we can try with straight legs, you wanna try straight legs today? If it's too much, you have any back pain, please take uh, the, uh, the reverse tabletop position, but we can try straight legs today. Navel is in, Purvatanasana, here we go. Ashto, inhale, pick it up, one. Your whole body squeeze together, two, three. Roll the shoulders forward, internal rotation, four, and five. Nava, exhale down. Oh, good job. Cross your feet underneath you. Dasha, inhale, we pick it up. Ekadasha, chaturanga. Dwadasha, inhale. 
Trayog, Disha, exhale. All right, ready to jump through? Press into your shoulders. Stop to inhale, jump. Exhale, come on down. Straight legs, sit down. Okay, now we've got our seated lotus position. Bend your right knee, close the knee joint, and drop it out to the side. Spiral through your external rotation to bring it up. Now, if you want to prepare, place the block under the knee, Take that strap around your right foot, keeping the toes demi-pointed. Ashto, exhale, fold. One. Keep breathing. Two. Check in with your body. No force. Four. Almost there. Keep that left leg active. Five, Nava, inhale, exhale, release your strap, change the block position, and then come on out of the lotus, straighten the leg. Good, let's switch the sides, all right? Bend the left knee and drop it out to the side, spiral through that external rotation, and block under the knee if you need, if you don't need, just let it be there. Strap around the, bases, uh, the base of your left big toe, prepare, Make sure the block is in a good position. Take hand on the ankle or onto the outside of your foot. Inhale, prepare, chest to the right knee. Pancha disha, exhale, fold. Very good. One, don't overdo the fold. Two, check in with every joint of the body. Make sure it's good. Three, deep breathing. Check in with the breath, deepen it a little bit. Four. Check in with your body and just feel and be with your body in this moment. One more breath. Five, Shodisha, inhale, exhale. Release your strap, move your block on over to the side. Let's delicately come out of your lotus. Good, cross your feet, hide your feet underneath you. Astadisha, hmm. come on back, Chaturanga. Ekuna vimshatahi, inhale, upward facing. Vimshatahi, exhale, downward facing. Press into your shoulders, subta, inhale, little jump again. And come on through. Now, grab the block if you think you're gonna need it. Placing both your sitting bones up on that block, stretching your left leg forward, right knee bends back, take the calf muscle, move it out to the side. If the block is too big, you could try just a towel or something else underneath. Now prepare, hands on the ground, or both hands to your left foot. Inhale, prepare, deep breath in. Ashto, exhale, fold, or you can just keep your hands on the ground and work your hip joints. One. Two, with every breath, a little bit more spaciousness. Three, it's looking good. If you feel yourself falling over to the left, push with your left hand a little bit, or left elbow. Four, looking really good. Five, Nava, inhale, exhale. Slowly let your torso rise, straighten out your right leg, and we'll switch the sides. Bend that left knee back, grab your calf muscle, move it over to the side. You wanna stay on the block, stay on the block. Get your sitting bones released. Both hands forward on the floor or onto your foot. Find what's better for you. Inhale, prepare. Pancha disha, exhale, fold. One. Work your hips with strength, not only flexibility. Two. Looks good. You can gaze forward at your toes or gaze at the nose. Three. Keep breathing. Four. Just do the inner work. No force, no fight. Five. Shodisha. Inhale. Lift your chest up and exhale. Remove that left foot. Take the block on over to the side if you were using it. Cross your feet. Saptadisha, inhale, we pick it up. Astadisha, chaturanga. Ekuna vimshatahi, inhale. Vimshatahi, exhale. Janushir shasana, e. Sapta, inhale. 
jump and exhale let's settle down straight legs we start off in dandasana position now from the dandasana position close your right knee joint and drop it out to the side then bring the heel in if you need the block underneath the right knee for support grab that otherwise leave it turn your chest forward to the left knee inhale prepare you can hold your ankle you can take the strap or you can hold on to your foot inhale prepare Ash, so exhale, fold. Looking good. One. And do that inner work. Two. Deep breathing. Gaze at the toes or forward at the nose. Three. Very good. Strong pelvic floor. Four. Five, Nava, inhale, straight arms, exhale here. Slowly release, let's pull that right knee in, straighten it out, switch the sides. We're gonna close the left knee joint, drop it out, heel comes close to the pubic bone, all right? Then chest center to the right knee, hold on to the ankle or hold on to your forward foot. Inhale, prepare. Panchadisha, exhale, hold. One, you can figure out what's the good hold, fold forward position for you, whether gazing at the toes, holding your wrists, or just holding onto the foot. Two, don't overdo it though. Three, it's looking good, stay focused. Four, almost there. Five. Shodisha, inhale, straight arms, exhale here. Slowly come up, let's plug that left knee up, cross your feet underneath you. Saptadisha, inhale, we pick it up. Astadisha, chaturanga. Ekuna vimshatahi, inhale, vimshatahi, exhale. Now again, sapta, inhale, jump, jump it forward, and exhale, sit down. Good, Janashir in a B position. So close your knee joint, drop it out to the side. Remember this one? You're gonna shift your knee a little bit forward and glide the heel between the sitting bones. So both your sitting bones are off the ground. Now you can explore how much out to the side is the knee comfortable, then chest, to that left side, inhale, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold. As much as you can, comfortably fold, fold. One. Looks good. Lengthen your spine as you fold forward. Two. Draw the navel in. Three. Four. Steady breaths. Almost there. Five, Nava, inhale, straight arms, exhale, release, scoot yourself off, straighten out the legs, we're gonna switch the sides. So close your knee joint, drop it out to the side, then heel close to the pubic bone, lift your sitting bone, your pelvis totally off the ground, and then settle it onto the heel. Then chest forward to the right knee, inhale, prepare. Panchadisha, exhale, fold. One, steady breathing. Two, draw the navel in, gaze at the nose or forward at the toes. Find what works. Four, almost there. Five, shodisha, inhale. Exhale, pick your butt off that foot, drop it down, cross your feet. Saptadisha, inhale, pick it up. Astadisha, jump back. Ekuna vimshatihi, inhale. Vimshatihi, exhale, downward facing. Okay, prepare to jump through. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way through. Straighten out the legs, good. Now, Janushir Shasana C position. This is another one that if you have a block, it could make it a little easier. So you place your sitting bones on that yoga block. 
And then close the knee, come onto the ball of your foot, spin it around until all those toes firmly bend backwards. All right, so you can work the ankle. If you don't need the block, you can do the same movement, but on the floor. Then a gentle shift forward, especially if you're on the block, do this very gently. Inhale, prepare. Ashto, exhale, little fold. One. So you can really work that bend in the ankle. Two, three, if your knee is elevated, please don't push it down, just let it be there. If the knee is very elevated, you could place a block underneath it for this posture as well. Four, one more breath. Five, Nava, inhale, exhale. Okay, let's remove that foot, bring it on forward. We're gonna switch the sides, all right? I'm gonna show you this from a slightly different angle. So we come forward like this, and then close your knee joint, come up onto the ball of that left foot, turn it out, and then you have to bend through the Achilles tendon as you reach the heel in. Make sure even the little toe is, off the, is, is bent backwards, participating in the posture. Glide your thigh as close to that left foot as possible. Stabilize right leg, inhale, prepare. And panchadisha, exhale, fold. One. Right leg stays active. Two. Three. <clears throat> this could be very intense for that left foot. Just to be aware. Four. As long as it's in the foot and not the knee, you're good to go. Almost there. Five. Shodisha, inhale. Exhale, remove your foot, make sure it's okay. Move that block on over to the side. Uh-huh, cross your feet. Saptadisha, inhale, pick it up. Astadisha, chaturanga. Ekuna vimshatihi, inhale, upward facing. Vimshatihi, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, jump. And exhale, come on down. Now, Marichasana A. Now we begin the Marichasana family, our new series of poses for today. Let's bend the right knee joint, close the hip and close the knee. Leave about a hand's distance between your right foot and the left thigh. Have that yoga strap handy if you think you're gonna need it. Then, using that right hip joint flexion, move your chest over to the side and come forward and down. Now, glide your right hand forward. And here's the place where the strap could be handy. So if you're gonna use the strap, hold on to it. Drop your shoulder in internal rotation. Then aim for your hands or the strap behind your back. Roll the shoulders forward. Inhale, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold. You can drop the head down or gaze forward to the left toes. One. Two, use that forward bend. Lift your right hip off the ground to get a deeper forward fold. Four, <clears throat> five, Nava, inhale, lift the head up, release the bind, and exhale. Straighten out your right leg. Now, I'll show you from the side. Close the left knee joint. All right, so we get that hip flexion. Place the strap on the left side. Take your right hand out and over. Make sure there's this hand's distance between the left foot and the right thigh. Then left hand forward. Lift the left hip off the ground as you come forward. You could choose to stay here if that strap is handy. Drop that left shoulder forward and down. Hold the strap behind the back. Inhale, prepare. Deep breath in. Panchadusha, exhale, fold. Keep the shoulders rolling forward. One, strong bandhas. Two, three, four, almost there. One more breath. Five, release the strap. Shodisha, inhale, exhale. Cross your feet. Saptadisha, inhale, we pick it up. Astadisha, chaturanga. 
Ekuna vim shatihi inhale. Vim shatihi exhale. Prepare to jump through again. Sapta inhale. Jump. Exhale. Sit down. Now, Marichasana B position. So in B position, we're actually going to start with the left leg. Close your left knee joint and drop it out to the side. Test out your lotus position. If your lotus position has an elevated knee and the foot is in the center of your thigh, you're going to do the no lotus position. Pick up your right thigh and then hide the left foot underneath. Close your right knee joint as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And you can use this position as your foundation. For those of you who have a, have a lotus position, you would do the same version with the lotus position, making sure that you come forward enough so that that left knee and lotus is off the ground. I'll continue to show you without the lotus. We hide that foot under and again, come forward. Take the left hand on the ground, get the strap prepared on the right side, then reach forward. Forward, forward, looking good. Get that strap in place. If you feel that this is enough, then you can just put your elbows on the ground and bend forward. However, if you can plug that right knee a little closer to the armpit, drop the shoulder forward and down, you might be able to find the hands or the strap around your back. Inhale, lift the chest. Ashto, exhale, fold. One, you can do head down or chin down, or just fold a little bit. Two, three, keep breathing. Four, try to equalize the shoulders. Five, nava, inhale, exhale, release the strap, come on out, straighten out your right leg, glide that left leg back into straight, and now again, we switch the sides. We're gonna use a strap, put it on the other side, Close the right knee joint, drop it out to the side, test out your lotus. If the lotus position is not there, this is a big posture where you don't want to let your ego force it. If the knee is elevated, just do the no lotus version of the posture, slide it under. However, if you've got your lotus, then when you come up, do not try to bend forward until that knee is on the ground and you bent forward. And if you're going for the no lotus version, you slide it under. And again, chest moves forward, right hand down. Let that left hip come off the ground, your shoulder down. So the first option is to stay here with the elbows down and just delicately bend forward. If the strap is handy and you can glide that left knee close to the left armpit, drop the shoulder down and internal rotation, both shoulders, hold the strap or hold your hands, inhale, prepare. Pancha Disha, exhale, fold. We stay for five. One, two, keep breathing. Check in. If it's too much to fold forward, you can just go a little forward. Four. Looking good. Five. Shodisha. Inhale. Chest forward. Exhale. Release your strap. And slowly straighten out the left leg. Open up the right. Good. It's always good in this one to just come back to Dandasana. Let the legs straighten for a moment. Then cross the feet. Saptadisha. Inhale. We pick it up. Astadisha, jump back. Chaturanga. Ekuna vimshatihi, inhale. Vimshatihi, exhale. We got two more Marichasanas. Press into your shoulders. Sapta, inhale, jump. And exhale, come on down. Okay. Marichasana C. I'm going to change directions for this one. Now, Marichasana C. Straighten out the legs. Then, close your right knee joint and bring it in. Okay, this is the beginning of Marichasana C. You want to test out, does your body weight drop back? This isn't going to happen for everyone, but some of your body weight is going to drop considerably far back. If that's the case, I want you to take your yoga mat and just double up the mat or triple up the mat, just kind of give it a little roll, and then pick up your butt and sit on that little extra roll. You can also grab a towel if you have that handy. It's just the idea is to elevate the hips so that you can make a more comfortable foundation. Mm -hmm. 
Then you'll notice that the hip joint is very close. We're gonna start off hugging the knee, taking the right fingers out to the side. And this is the beginning of Marichasana C. Next, lift the center of the chest up and see if you can move your chest onto the outside of the thigh. If your whole chest is on the outside of the thigh, then drop the shoulder forward and down and just glide through the internal rotation. If the arm stays straight and you feel a pressure in the collarbone, change the position back and hold on to the knee. And now we'll stay for five. One, deep breaths. Two, remember it's enough to just hug the knee and look to the right. Three, if you're going for that internal rotation, that left shoulder drops down around the thigh. It's looking good. Four, we're almost there. Five, activate pelvic floor. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, straighten out your right leg. Now we'll do the other side. Stay on your little perch if you're using it. Bend the left knee and come up. If you want to use a strap, there is a way to use a strap for this posture. So you can lie that strap over your right thigh. Then holding on to the left knee, take the left fingers behind you and lift the chest. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, come on over. So now we're twisting. And this is the option one, and you're welcome to stay here. If your whole chest moves over to the side, then it'll be easy for you to internally rotate the shoulder. Make sure the strap doesn't fall off. So we internally rotate the shoulder. Take a hand on the strap. Then if you feel you have your balance, lift the other hand and you can bind using the strap. And we'll hold for a couple breaths. One. If at any moment you feel that you've gone too far, you just dial it down a little bit. Three. Four. Almost there. Five, okay, let's release. We are binding, release the bind. Come all the way off, lift up off of your perch and reestablish your yoga mat, cross your feet. Mm -hmm. Inhale, we pick it up and exhale, find your way back and chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, big breath in. Exhale, and downward facing. Now, Marichasana D. Sapta, inhale, jump. Exhale, come on down. Okay, this is a challenging posture, everyone. So let's work on the setup first, okay? Close your left knee joint, drop it out to the side, and then find again, am I gonna be in the half lotus? Mm, maybe not. If you weren't in half lotus for Marichasana B, you won't be in it for D. So let's just workshop that a little bit. If you do have the half lotus, this is the one single most important thing that I want you to take away. When you close that right knee joint, come forward until that lotus knee is on the ground, okay? So if you have your lotus, I would like for you just to hug the knee joint and look over to the right. So this is all I want you to do if you've got the lotus. Mm -hmm. Those of you with the lotus, you're in the posture, you stay. Without the lotus, I want you to use that same little perch that we used for Marichas in a C. Sit up on it and then glide the no lotus position and then hug the knee, but for the no lotus version, please keep your right fingers behind you and look to the right. Everybody, now we got five breaths. One, two, keep breathing, three, four, almost there, Five, inhale back to the center, both sitting bones down, straighten out your right leg, get that left leg either back in position or out of lotus, dandasana. We switch the sides. Fold your right knee joint in, drop it out. Bend the left knee and either lotus or I'll show you the no lotus version, close. Then hugging the knee, remember if you're in the lotus version, just hug the knee. If you're in the no lotus version, hug the knee, take your left fingers behind you and lift your chest powerfully up. Good, five breaths. One, this is looking really good. Two, make sure you're twisting. Three, nice and easy, lift the chest. Four, 
Almost there. Stay with it. Deep breathing. Five. Inhale. Back to the center. Exhale. Straighten out left leg. Open up the right knee and then come off of your little perch. Get the yoga mat back to happy. Cross your feet. Trayogdisha. Inhale. We pick it up. Chaturdisha. Come on back. Chaturanga. Panchadisha, inhale, shodisha, exhale. Switch your gaze forward, press into the shoulders. Sapta, inhale, come on through. Exhale, sit down, grab your yoga blocks. We're gonna put the icing on the cake with our friend Navasana. I promise you we'll do this easy. And this is the last pose before we start to wind down and move into the closing poses. Start off Navasana easy, toes point, knees little open arms forward. This is our most basic version of boat. Then, second thing, tuck your tailbone a little bit. And this, just a little, not like overdo it, but just enough to make it the sort of round feeling at the bottom of the boat. We'll stay for two more breaths. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Cross your feet. Hands on your yoga blocks. Shoulders forward, hips backing up. Good. Give it a shot. Exhale, sit down. Again, easy boat. One, two. If it's very easy for you, knees together. Three, strong pelvic floor. Four, use your transverse abdominals to squeeze in. Five, cross your feet. Ashto inhale, hips up. Exhale down. Now try to do feet off the ground. One, good, hands open. Two, looks good. Three, four, almost there. Five, cross your feet. Ashna inhale, we pick it up. Exhale down, we get two more. Navasana, one, two, it's looking good. Three, very good. Four, arms up. You can do it, strong pelvic floor. Five, cross your feet. Ashto inhale, hips up, try to lift. Exhale, down, last one. Navasana, this is endurance. Eventually, knees together, legs straight, but you don't need to try that right now. Knees bent, totally fine. Two, looks good. Three, remember, don't overdo it. Strong pelvic floor, some of you look excellent. Four, Almost there, stay with it. Five, cross your feet. Ashtam inhale, pick it up. Stay up. Now since we've got the blocks, let's use them. Walk your feet directly back and chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Stay on the blocks. Pitch into your shoulders. Sapta inhale, slide the feet all the way through. Exhale down. Good. Move the blocks over to the side. Okay, now lie down. Roll the spine down. Good job, just gently lie down. Straight legs. Mm -hmm. Take a moment, catch a breath. Good, then bend your knees. Simple bridge, and hands near the feet or holding the ankles as you like. Ashto, prepare. Nava, inhale, lift the hips, and then interlock your fingers or hold your ankles, and big, open the pelvis. One, really just release the front of the pelvis as much as possible. Two, three, lift the pelvis higher. Four, and five, exhale, we set it down. Okay, now you wanna to try to hold the ankles, hold the ankles, prepare. Sink the heels and ashto, prepare. Nava, inhale, lift it up. One, two, if your thighs are burning, it's okay, my thighs are burning too. Remain neutral about it, try not to react. Four, one more breath. Five, exhale, all the way down. Okay, you can repeat one of those options of simple bridge. You wanna try Urdhva Dhanurasana, hands under the shoulders. Maybe we're ready to try. Okay, let's prepare. I'm gonna do it once. 
If it gets to be too much, just revert back to simple bridge, okay? So the hips come up first, and they want to use the whole spine. Mm -hmm. Nava, inhale, lift the hips, roll the head under, and gaze down to the ground. One. Draw the elbows towards each other. Two. Soft neck. Three. Expand the chest. Try to lift the spine up out of the pelvis. Four. Almost there. One more big breath in. Five. Bend the elbows. Put your head down first. Then exhale all the way down. Come on down. Okay, just rest for a moment. That was intense. Back bend is really intense when we get all the way up there. Okay, let's draw the knees into your chest. Cross the feet. Roll it on up. Good job. Straighten your legs. Paschimottanasana again. Hold on to ankles. Inhale, prepare. Nava, exhale, fold. One, ten breaths. Kneecaps lift. Two. Three. Four. Keep breathing. Five. Six. Just a few more breaths. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Dasha, inhale, lift your head up. Exhale here. Then cross your feet underneath you. Ekadisha, inhale, pick it up. Dwadisha, chaturanga. Trayogdisha, inhale. Chikturadisha, exhale. All right, prepare to jump through. Shoulders, supta, inhale, jump. Exhale, come on down. Straight legs lie down. Mm -hmm. Stay here for a few moments. Situate yourself. Lie down. It's not over yet, but soon. Okay. Now, we prepare for shoulder stand. Ashto, inhale first. Check in with Viparita Karani. Make sure this feels accessible, comfortable, good. All right, then, Shoulder stand, we roll the thighs into the body and lift the hips up. So feel that and get the good position. If you need to keep yourself in a little V shape, that's okay. But eventually, you might even be able to touch your feet to the ground, roll the shoulders underneath you, and then find a vertical axis. We'll try to stay for 10 breaths. One, two, Three, four, steady breathing, five, six, seven, gaze at the nose, eight, straighten up whenever you notice, nine, ten, halasana, we're going to bend at the waist. You can keep your hands on your lower back. And if the feet don't touch the ground, I want you to stay right there. Once your feet touch the ground, you can interlock your fingers. Let's we'll stay for five. One, two, keep breathing. Three, four, and five. Open the knees. Take the knees near the ears. We'll stay for another five. One. If you need a little help, hands on your lower back. It's all good. Two. Three. Keep breathing. Four. Strong pelvic floor. Five. 
five. Open the legs. We're going to roll it down. So just roll the spine gently down. All the way down. Then straighten the legs. Take a moment. Come up onto your elbows. Fish pose. Matsyasana. Head back and you can adjust your elbow position so the head is comfortable. Try to roll the shoulders forward. One. Two, gaze at the nose. Three, we'll stay for five breaths. Four. And five, bend your knees. Take the hands forward. Come onto your toes. If that feels comfortable, you can lift the legs and straighten them. One. If it's too much to straighten, just keep the toes on the ground. Two, the spine is arched. Try to release pressure on the neck by moving the body forward. Four. One more breath. Five, drop your elbows down, drop the head down. Relax your feet. Fold the knees up into your body and inhale, roll it on up. Exhale, come on back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, and downward facing. Okay, we're gonna introduce one new, one more new posture today. Sink down onto your knees. We're not gonna do headstand, but we're gonna do headstand prepare. All right, you're gonna place the elbows down. Hold on to the elbows and the outsides. Interlock your fingers. Don't worry, it's just gonna be a very strong shoulder stabilizer. Exhale, place the top of the head on the ground and really root your elbows down, all right? Then inhale, stand your legs up, and I want you to gaze at the toes. Now, to make sure that we're in a good position, head comes off the ground like the dolphin pose, and we're gonna stay five breaths with the head up. Please look at your toes. One, two, three, Use the shoulders, four, five. Keep the shoulders active. Now sink your head back on the ground very delicately. Five more breaths, one. You can shift a little forward if it's comfortable. If not, just stay down and work the shoulders, four, and five. Okay, walk your feet back, exhale, knees down. Child's pose, take the hands down next to the feet and rest we have about five breaths here one deep breath in two three Good job. Let's lift the head up, walk the hands forward, inhale up to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, a big breath in. Exhale, downward facing, big breath out. Press up from your shoulders, up the inhale, jump. And exhale, straighten out the legs, come on down to seated. Good, and now, We've got our last three poses. So cross your feet, cross your feet. Okay. If you want to go for the lotus position, you can take a right foot lotus, the left foot lotus. If that's not accessible, just an easy cross-legged position. Then holding the elbows behind the back, we prepare. Mm -hmm. So inhale, prepare, a nice big breath in. Yoga Mudra, Nava exhale, fold, one, drop the head down and fold, two, three, ten deep breaths, four, five, six, keep breathing, seven, eight, 
Check in with your body. Nine. Doing really well. Ten. Activate pelvic floor. Nine. Inhale all the way up. Open up your hands. We have Padmasana position. I want you to take the tips of your index fingers together. Lift and expand the chest to chin down. One. Two, three, deep breaths. Gaze at the nose, four, five, keep breathing. Six. Steady breathing, eight, nine, ten, very good. Okay, now Ulplutihi, we can use our blocks for a little bit of help without the lotus. You're going to lift the knees and place the hands on the blocks. You might only lift the hips. With the lotus, you want to prepare the lotus first. So we have right foot, left foot. Bring the blocks in. And then this, if you manage to get up on the blocks, will be easier. We'll stay for 10 breaths. If you have your lotus, you're going to lift it in and press up onto the blocks. Get the shoulders down, ribs in, tighten up your front body. A Kaudisha, inhale, we pick it up. One. Good. Two. Without the lotus, just cross your feet. Three. Four. If you need to come out of the lotus, you can always just pop it on out. Five. It's all good. Six. Still try to get the feet up. Seven. Looking good. Eight. If you can keep your lotus, you keep it. Nine. Almost there. Almost there. Don't go down. Then now go down. Good job. Okay. We're going to do one more jump back. So move those blocks on over to the side. Cross your feet. Dwadisha. Come on back. Chaturanga. Trayogdisha. Inhale. Big breath in. Chaturdisha. Exhale. Downward facing. Press up into your shoulders. Sapta. Inhale. Jump. And exhale, slowly roll your spine gently down. Find the good position on your mat. Roll through your neck. Roll through your legs. Give them a little wiggle. Roll through the shoulders. Give the hands a little wiggle. And then come to rest. Come to rest. Feel the breath relaxing, releasing. Feel the body softening and opening. Feel the mind expanding, the heart expanding. Feel your connection down into the earth underneath you. And whatever energy, whatever thoughts, whatever feelings you would like to let go of, let all of that just release into the ground underneath you. Any pain, woundedness, let it all go. Any old hurts of the past, let them go. Let all the past go. Any tightness of the mind, any anger, resentment, bitterness, 
depression or anxiety, let that energy just melt away from you, releasing into the ground. You might see it as a color or an image, melting away from the body. Whatever that energy is, let it return to the earth so it can be recycled. Feel yourself free. And in that space of freedom, open up your heart center, open up your whole energy system to receive. As you receive now, feel almost like a waterfall from above, a wellspring of goodness washing over your body where all the goodness just gets poured in. Allow yourself to receive. Set your willfulness aside and be willing to receive all this blessing. The goodness, let it in. A wave of healing, which you might experience like pure, temperate water, spring water, washing over you. Or you might experience as a warm white golden light bringing healing, healing of the body, healing of the mind, and healing of the soul. After you have received all that you need, let go of all that no longer serves you. Begin to bring your awareness back to the body, fingers, toes, hands, feet, arms and legs, and start some little movements. Wiggle the toes, move the fingers, bend the knees and the elbows, rolling the neck, Knees into the chest, a big thank you to your body. Thanks, my body, you're good. Thanks, my body, I love you, you're good. Roll over onto the side, any side you like. Keeping the eyes closed, come on back to a comfortable seated position. Keep your attention now at the heart center. For a few moments, feel the vibration of the heart and let these seeds of true spiritual practice be nourished in the garden of the heart. May happiness, may love, and may peace fill every moment of my life. May happiness, love, and peace fill every moment of my life. May all beings find their way to happiness, to love, and to lasting peace. Hands come into prayer position, a deep breath in. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste.